Hello App Inventors. This is a quick walkthrough of the General Animation Snippet project. It contains examples using a general procedure to display animations for buttons, image components, and an image sprite. The animation procedure can be used with any components that can display colored text, background colors, or images. Here I have the app loaded in the emulator. When I click the Start Animation button, let's see what happens. Button 1's background image is being animated here. Button 2's text color is being animated. Button 3's background color is being animated. Image 1's picture is being animated here. And here we have image sprite 1 turning animated on the canvas. So those are these components here, button 1, button 2, button 3, image 1, and image sprite 1 on the canvas. The clock animation components timer event block is used to either cycle through lists of image names stored in the media folder or through lists of colors. Let's switch to the blocks view. When the start animation button is tapped, the clock animation timer is started. Inside the when clock animation timer event block are the blocks to display the pictures and colors you saw. Notice that each component's color or picture property is set by the result of a call to the next frame procedure. Attached to the next frame procedure are two arguments. Current, which has a getter block for the component's picture or color. And frames, which has a list of picture names or colors attached. Button 3 has a list of colors And image 1 has a list of pictures. To use the next frame procedure with result in your projects, right click on the next frame procedure and choose add to backpack from the pop-up menu. Switch to your project and drag next frame out. Place it inside a clock timer event block and set it as seen with these examples. Well that's about it for now. Until next time, happy inventing.